Well, here we are then. Another day, another My Team episode. And this one is the Italian Grand Prix at Imola. Technically, the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix, but still, you know what I mean. Either way, so far, the season has got off to an absolutely crazy start. If you haven't seen the previous episode at China Round 2, then I'll leave that one linked up in the top right. So go check that one out. But today, we're here at Imola. Hopefully, you're excited for this one. If you are, leave a like, subscribe for more. Let's try and smash over 1,000. 300 likes on this episode and let's get into business now first of all this weekend's weather forecast says we have rain in qualifying if we were to make it to q3 towards the very end so we'll have to bear that in mind and see what happens you know with that weather change and how it may affect qualifying um but the majority of qualifying seems to be dry the race is also dry as well so uh yeah we'll bear that in mind and hopefully we can try and adapt improvise and overcome as we jump into Q1 here at Imola. So let's um, get this session on the way. It's a track that I really, really like. I really enjoy it. But on this game, it's very, very RNG, very unpredictable, um, very, you know, not black and white, very gray because the curbs around here are very, very inconsistent. So uh, yeah, my first lap was invalidated. So I unfortunately, I'm going to get this one count. I went on to actually uh, finish the second sector just to make sure I got a reference delta. And the streaking of which you can see here, we're about two tenths up on that previous lap. Uh, now pushing into the two Ravatsas, the final two corners here, to try and get a lap on the board as we get on the anchors, turn in and try to clean up the traction. We need to try and recover because, you know, the last race, China, was a very poor qualifying. We got knocked down in Q1 in shocking fashion. So I want to make sure we get back on pace. And so far, so good as we move up to P12. Now I try to go, I believe, for one more push lap after this as well. Um, so three push laps in a row, basically as I was fueled for that and to be fair we were a fraction up but heading into Aquaminerale I just locked a brake on the front right on the entry and ran wide and invalidated so yeah I went back to the pits currently P13 eventually we got pushed down to P14 uh, I believe um, but looking at the lap time so you can see that even though we're close to P16 um, we're actually safe by three tenths and six tenths clear of Lance Straw on P17 so um, I decided to not go back out and that gamble paid off. We got through into Q2 comfortably by a couple of attempts. And yeah, we move into Q2 then alongside Michael Schumacher. And uh, we're going to see if we can clean up our act a little bit and have a bit more of a smoother Q2 session compared to Q1, which was admittedly all over the place and a little bit scruffy. So um, yeah, this was my best Q2 lap. There is rain actually on the way. Uh, the weather changed and it's going to arrive pretty much in the second half of Q2. So this first lap is going to be key. So this is what we're going to get. We need to make sure it counts and hopefully we can deliver so into the first chicane the Variante Damburello down to fifth gear all over the curbs you can see here this is what you need to do to really maximize lap time around this racetrack then the Variante Villeneuve again plenty of inside curb through both apexes and exit as we then head into the Tosa hairpin very very important here to try and square off the corner and get a nice clean exit up the hill uh, straight line speed is going to be very important here turn nine Pilatella, very difficult corner here slightly unsighted you have to use a lot of entry and runoff curb again. Then Aquaminadale, this time we're going to keep it nice and tight to avoid running wide. Pick up the traction with a short shift, important traction zone there uphill again. And then the Variante Alda, the little right left flick in fourth gear, flicking the car over the curbs and using all the runoff to clean up the exit as you then head down towards the two Provances. Spot the braking. Usually I'd say the Rolex board on the right is your reference, down a third, short shift into fourth, and then fifth. So a double short shift there and then the final corner and using all the runoff curve once more and then running up to the line it's going to be a 13.7 which is two tenths faster than i believe the 13.9 or 14.0 done in q1 so a good lap eventually rain uh, made its presence felt and that would be the end of qualifying so uh yeah we're going into q3 sorry michael schumacher is out unfortunately but it's very very close if you exclude the two red bulls the gap from myself you know down to michael and even then maybe yuki sinoda in p4 down to michael schumacher it's less than two tenths it's so competitive and so close around here but there's your top 10 for q2 now q3 as i mentioned uh it's going to start in the wet because q2 finished in wet conditions now, we're going to go for quite a few laps here on these full wet tyres and we're going to see if we can... These conditions don't look like they're shifting. We're predicting at least 20 minutes of heavy rainfall. Full wets seem to be the fastest tyre for now. So there's the weather update. As I mentioned, the uh, first lap gave me P5. So we're going to go for a second one. 
and you can see we're already uh, quite a bit up actually and now look at this half a second up making our way into the final two corners the two revatsas and this is uh, looking very good now as we're a full second up as we make our way out the final corner on the run to the line what is the lap going to give us it's going to be a 20.9 purple in sector three and provisional pole so the wet conditions you know giving us a chance to actually fight for the pole here when i was a little bit off the pace in the dry about you know two three tenths off max the wet weather has come at the right time and it's given us an opportunity and look at this we're even faster this lap a tenth and a bit up heading into aqua Minerale, but this time we just don't quite get the car slowed down a run wide we don't invalidate it somehow but i'm not gonna finish the lap because it would have been cheating so i actually backed off and gave up and uh, yeah pretty much went back to the pits got a fresh set of wet tires on and we're gonna go for one last run because we're gonna have to improve i think i don't know if a point nine is gonna be fully safe so we may need to find a tenth or two so here we go one more attempt first of all variante tamburello fifth gear in the wet as well same concept trying to use the curbs as we're a fraction down now 10th down actually as we have a big snapper oversteer on the exit and a bit of a scruffy first sector so far heading into the Valiante Vilna been a bit too safe through there as we again struggle for rear grip into Tosa this is where I lost quite a bit of time on my best lap and we managed to find it all keeping it nice and tight and squaring off the exit so we're now half a tenth up heading into turn nine important here to use lots of inside curb and then carry that momentum down the hill and we find another half a tenth as we're now a tenth of a second up into Aqua Minerale. But on the brakes here, we're just going to make sure we don't make the same mistake as last time. Keeping it nice and clean. Bit of oversteer, but look at this. Two and a half tenths up now as we find even more lap time and purple in the sector two. Into the Radiante Alta, over the curbs. Nice and aggressive, but keeping it under control. And we keep that three tenth margin making our way into the final two corners. This is on the money as Verstappen goes quickest again. And uh, that's with a point eight, I think, from what I can tell on my preview screen. As we make our way through Ravazza, though, unfortunately, we invalidate. I just run a fraction wide. We was four tenths up and on for a point five, but we threw it away and we bottled it at the last point in qualifying. Verstappen done a low nine in the end, so we could have easily got pole. But I overdrove, I pushed too hard, and I paid the price for bottling the lap time and making the mistake. Having said that... It's still a front row, we're still P2, and to be fair, again, the rain has made, done us a massive favour because it's given us a chance to fight. So, yeah, not all doom and gloom, front row start, exact same front row as Bahrain. Let's see if we can turn this one around in the race. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position, and Martinez completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the... Now we are here for the race at Monza. P2 on the grid, admittedly should have been pole, but we messed up the qualifying lap. At the same time, I could argue and say that the rain was a blessing for us because we was much more off the pace in the dry conditions, but the rain actually gave us a chance to get pole. So, you know, all things considered, I think this is probably the, the realistic starting place for us, P2, and on the front row. Exact same front row as Bahrain. Having said that, I think... I'd like to win, but I'd take a second place right now. I think in the dry, Max has definitely got a bit more pace than me. Having said that, my race pace is usually a bit better, so you never know. We might be 50-50. Strategy-wise, medium-soft, or in this case, soft-medium, sorry. Um, the medium-soft doesn't really work around here for once. It's actually one of those tracks where the all-strat is actually not as good. It's actually slower. So, yeah, soft-medium for us. Fuel-wise, we're running at minimum, so we're going to, of course, you know, run that every single race from now on. And, yeah, it should be a fun one. Quite a long run down to turn one, so we'll see if you know, that plays a part. And uh, yeah, hopefully by the end of this race, worst case scenario, we finish in second place. But yeah, let's jump into the action and let's see what happens. Well, here we go. 32 laps of Imola. Five lights. And run away. A little bit of wheel spin there on the second phase, but we've got away reasonably well. Down towards turn one, Gasly making a move. We've got Perez lurking, but Gasly goes around the outside and actually makes it work, to be fair. That's a lovely move from Gasly. I can't really fault that. Yellow behind. One of the Ferraris are off in the gravel. We'll see if there's a safety car or a virtual safety car, but for now, nothing deployed. As we lose a place to Pierre in the McLaren. So, great start from Gasly, to be fair. He got me on that move around the outside. I couldn't really do much. We've got Perez now behind us for company, but let's see what the race pace is like. Again, I'll go back to qualifying. We weren't as fast in the dry. Uh, the wet weather was a bit of a blessing in disguise. 
but the reality is that we weren't fully there in the dry conditions as Perez uh, looking for the move here behind, but we're going to just edge across to stop him. I'm usually fast in the final sector. This chicane is where I'm strongest. So, yeah, for now, I think we're going to have to just try and survive the first two laps because when that AI run full power and then hopefully from lap three onwards, we can start to make some progress. A bit like in Bahrain in round one. I think we're going to be overheating the tyres like crazy this race. Not much I can really do about it. Just got to try and deal with it, unfortunately. End of lap two though, DRS we were never on lap three. We just about managed to hold on to Gasly and the one second window. Perez putting a bit of pressure on to be fair, the Red Bull seem pretty fast. But we've made it. Now let's see what the pace is starting from this lap. Just lap in 12-7. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Let's do this. The virtual oh. safety car has been deployed. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. There's been an incident resulting in a high level of debris on the track. Hmm. Would it be worth a free pit stop right now? Hmm. Understood. Stopping this lap. Lost a bit of time there on pit entry. I didn't really maximise the delta. But I'm going to take a chance here. I know this may seem a bit different, but... I think we can make this work. I'm going to roll the dice and see if we can maybe get some clean air and try and push. We'll get the mediums on now. Release, and then release. we'll go back onto the softs yes, later ending. because we've got green. another set. Maintain so, um, delta until the green flags. yeah, we'll select some softs. We're going to pretty much get the entire pit stop under a VSC window, which is perfect. Only one stop to go. One stop left in this strategy. So we will gain. Let's see what happens. This is going to be interesting. Bit of a, a one-off gamble, but if this works, this could be money for us. Oh, London Norris. Some information on Norris. They've got a serious car issue. It looks like they're retiring. Just ahead of us, and there is Lando. Yellow flag. Off the track in the Mercedes. Okay, the incident has been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. No safety car or virtual safety car. Michael Schumacher though pits. Michael is in the pits. Michael in the pits. Possible damage, maybe. He's the only kind of pit. I wonder if maybe he got caught up in the incident. Not sure. Either way, the pace isn't too bad on these. Um, not ideal. I think I can go a bit quicker. Um, but tyre is also not too bad. We'll see how things go. The good thing is that we've got the one-stop option, which is no more pit stops, basically. I'll stop you again for a fresh set of softs. We've got both of those options available. And the good thing about this tyre is that we're not going to overheat. We can push pretty much flat out. So uh, that's going to be a bonus for us. And we've got... Latifi in the pit lane for Alpha Tauri. Possible damage again. He was on mediums. Meanwhile, we've got Schumacher and Sainz battling for turn one. These two have been going at it and they've lost a lot of time, so we're going to probably catch up quite quickly as uh, they're still going at it. And I think my, Mick has actually re-overtaken Sainz, which is pretty insane. Perhaps getting back ahead of the Ferrari, but we need to pass both of these guys. Now we've got more cars ahead as well, so hit a bit of traffic now, which is not going to help this strategy out. I think Sons may have damage because he's dropping off from Mick. So we may have to try and pass him here as soon as possible. Let's see if we can do this here. Yeah, Sons definitely damaged. Not ideal, but we want to try and pass up the inside, but we can't get by it. That's not ideal. This is costing us a bit of time now. Come on. You can see he's got damage because he's going so slowly into corners let's set Carlos up he's going to pick this up anyway but I want to just pass him we'll get DRS in the pit straight up the inside that should give us DRS I'm pretty sure yeah there we go more cars in the pits I, I, I'm remembering now that AI tend to not be very good in wheel to wheel combat here so we will see lots of damage so uh, this could be a long race a lot of things can happen up the P15 now though Okay, let's try and pass Mick Schumacher here. I think he might have the RS in the car ahead. Which isn't ideal. But I trust us to have the edge over the Haas in terms of straight line speed. Whoa, bit of a moment there at the final corner. Here we go then. Let's see if we've got the juice to get by. Personal best. Using all the power that we have. Mick does have the RS, but we're going to get this one done. Meanwhile, up ahead, more scrapping. And actually, uh, Matsushita here is going to lose time and oh no we've got damage damn it this is um this is bad this is this is now very bad 
this messes up our race completely. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Master Shooter there just brake checking on the entry of the corner. Not ideal. Understood, copy that. We'll go for another set of mediums and take them to the end, but not ideal. I was planning on going to the end with these to be fair, the tire was quite low, but not anymore. These guys are losing so much time battling that we're actually keeping up. But yeah, we're gonna box Lungard in there as well. Easy does it. Right, let's see then we've got more cars on pit exit. Shame because that VSC advantage is completely gone. And uh, to be fair, by pitting, you know, the VSC, I've dropped myself into a race which I didn't need with the AI, which is my fault. So I'll take the L on that one, to be fair. Um, let's see, though. We're still a long way to go. We might still get a safety car or something. So let's just stay positive. Go, go, go. You'll be racing on the exit. Exit, exit now. Well, the good news, we've jumped Lungard somehow. I'm very happy with that. So that's one place we've gained the Lungard isn't soft. But still, let's, uh, let's see if we can try and fire these mediums up. Behind signs. Back down to P18. Lungard trying to get by straight away here. But we'll just block him off. Right then, let's see if we can go. Lungard's going to try and get past me here straight away on them soft tyres, but we'll try and make our car as wide as possible. Got quite a few more cars in the pits. I think this is going to be the story of the race. You know, damage. I think multiple cars are going to keep getting, you know, wing damage. So we're definitely not out of this, even if we have to stop again, which I don't want to. So, um,. Yeah, let's see. We've got a uh, yellow, actually. Oh, I can see the mini-map further back. Let's see who that is. I think it's the Mercedes. Oh, my God. Mercedes, double DNF. Well, that is not really what Toto Wolf is going to want. Both cars out of the race. Both Mercs had car reliability issues in Bahrain. And now both of their cars, I think, are out. Actually, no, I think one of them's got going again. So, my bad. But he's coming to the pit lane. So, possible wing damage again for that car. Yeah, this is chaos. This race ain't over yet. This is an absolutely insane lap for mediums. I'm absolutely flying on this one. No DRS, just pure speed. Running at a very strong pace, 12.8, two and a half tenth improvement. We've got straw ahead on hard tires. So that's a positive thing to see. We'll hopefully try to catch him up. I'm just starting to edge towards signs and I'm dropping Lungard now. So the medium coming into its own. Okay, I think we may have a chance to pass signs here. Closing in. This is where I gain the most in the final sector. We should have the RS in the pit straight on the Ferrari. We can just close the gap through the final couple of corners. That would be perfect. Yeah, the pace is pretty strong, actually. I'm quite impressed. All right, let's see then. Seven and a half tenths. To be fair, it's quite a bit of a gap. I'll try and cut it down. I think we might be a touch too far back. Got a car leaving the pits as well. That's Esteban Arcon. Tried to put signs offline there. Didn't really work, but we'll try again next lap. Quite a few cars ahead of us here. Look at the mini map, you can see there's a lot of positions to make up here. Let's try and get to work and let's try and get these places. Let's see if we can make something happen. We're gonna have a bit of a DRS train. Signs, Archon and Schwartzman all in a train here. We'll see if we can at least get signs. I'll say that, I've just absolutely ruined it with that corner exit. That's not gonna help one bit. You might want to start being a little more conservative with your fuel. We may not finish at this rate of usage. It's not over yet though, because uh, Archon and Schwarzman signs are going to go at it. So we may get the opportunity to lose our front wing again, not to pass. Let's just uh, be a bit more cautious. But we need to pass Schwarzman here ASAP. Going to try and force him to the inside. Come on, come on, out dragged the Williams. Come on. A new strategy is available on the MFD. Right, so we've got Schwarzman. Okay, copy that. That's what the team is saying. We'll see about that. Let's try and get back within the RS range of Carlos Sainz if we can hit. Right, let's try again. I need to get a good exit out the final corner. It's letting me down every lap. Need to be super, super close. I want to get them both on one straight. If I can, that's better. That's more like it. And actually, science pits, that's perfect. That's going to give us the release and the slingshot we need to get this done. Quite a few cars in the pits, actually. So that's going to move us pretty much near the top 10 here as we blast past Ocon. Look at that. We're behind Pierre Gasly. And, you know, bear in mind, we was behind Gasly at the start of the race when we pit for that VSC. So we're not a million miles away, actually. We're not a million miles away. 
let's try and stick with Pierre and see if he can drag us with him along the way for the ride. Daz is really pushing here. He's going to have a look at Stroll. This might be my one and only chance to get past Pierre, so we may have to use it. Here we go, using all the power we've got. I think we're lacking a bit of straight lines to be compared to the McLaren. We set a personal best. Let's try and get Stroll, if we can, using all the juice we've got here. I just don't believe that AI, honestly. I do not believe that AI in this game, mate. Oh, God. After all that hard work. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Got that confirmed. Not good at all, man. Well, we'll get some soft tires on and try and push. Oh no. Michael's in. Michael is coming in for his stop. Well, whatever happens, I hope we don't get held up. Right, come on. Another pit stop this race. My god, this is really falling apart. <sighs> we need a safety car, man, like right now. We'll get some softs on. We should be able to make them last to the end uh, with the increased uh, tower upgrades. But the crew aren't fully ready. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Chop, 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 chop. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go now. Mate, I'm going to get lapped. Verstappen's making his way to the final corner right now. What an absolute disaster of a race. My God. No, we're only just ahead of the Red Bulls. Wow. Why did I pit for the VSC? I could have just stayed out. We'll get in one place on Matt's Cheetah. Let's try and go for a fastest lap and see if we can at least make sure Verstappen does not get that point at any cost. Let's see if this is enough. It wasn't super quick, in fairness, but it does the trick. 11-8. Let's try and push for another one. I think I can squeeze a faster one out than that. Didn't quite go faster, but we pretty much matched it. Purple in Sector 3, but yeah, I don't think we're going to beat that anymore now. Let's just keep pushing. We'll just fight until the very end and see if we can get anything out of this. Right, I'm going to try and get Lungard here if I can. I'd like to do it straight away into Turn 1. Won't be super easy, but I'll try my best. Going to close up as much as I can. Seems like we're a bit down a straight line speed, but luckily we've had a very good final two corners, so let's get this moved on. The medium tyre is the way to go in out. The soft isn't really the better tyre at this stage, but anyway, we've gained a pace. P16, let's go after signs next. Oh, we've got yellow. It's Lungard. Okay, clear. My god, this could be a golden ticket back into the race. Please. Give me what I want, please. No, don't think we're going to get it. Damn it. That's annoying. Anyway, we're on for a personal best. So an improved fastest lap here on the cars. Let's try now the final two corners. Oh, that's a scruffy final two corners, man. Jeez Louise. We'll improve slightly, though. We're boxing this lap. Give us the best in lap you can. We are not boxing, Jeff. We're going to the end, mate. Now, we've got the RS on Signs, but unfortunately, we've caught up to Schwarzman. who's on the hard tire, so Signs is probably going to... There's five laps of fuel remaining. Use Schwarzman to get past, so we're going to have to wait another lap to pass the Williams. Car in the pit lane, so we'll gain a place. One of the Alphataris, I think. Yuki Sonoda. And while Signs going through on Schwarzman, do I want a piece of this? I do, but this ain't going to work out great. Oh, that's just so much time lost through there. That was not very time efficient. Anyway, we've gained two places there, so let's go after Signs and Ricardo again. Oh, great chicane. Very good chicane. I think I might even challenge Signs here. I'm just going to commit to him. I'm not going to waste time. I'm just going to go for the move. Up the inside, and we'll get the DRS as well on the pit straight. Lovely move. That chicane is giving me life. These soft tires are hanging in there beautifully. Right, let's try and get Ricardo, and then with P12, and then we need a bit of luck ahead, some kind of battling or something for us to gain something. I just noticed one of the Red Bulls were in the pit lane. Probably not Max, probably Perez, but we'll find out at the end of the race when we look at the results. In the meantime, though, let's get this move on Ricardo done. 
rapidly gaining on Latifi as well. I think we're going to run out of time, then run out of laps. As uh, yeah, Latifi, two seconds in one lap. It's only quite tough. Let's try and get Ricardo here though. Up the inside. Just going to steam through and waste no time with that move. All right, let's push on then. Last lap of the race, let's give it absolutely everything. We need a bit of a miracle here to get some points this race. If we do, we'll get an extra one because of the fastest lap. Yeah, as expected, Max wins it. As expected, Verstappen wins it. Bit of a shame, one more lap and I could have had a chance there because Stroll is really slow on the hard tyre. Both myself and Latifi are really catching him up, but we're going to run out of laps. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be no points for us in Imola. That is a big shame. What a poor race. Damn it. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Ferme. They take the chequered flag then here in Imola in what has been another outstanding Grand Prix. And talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team. I don't know what it is with this track, but I just keep taking L's around here, man. I just can't seem to get a W. Um, a zero in my team, a zero in league racing and just struggling man this was a write-off not gonna run along too much uh verstappen wins it ahead of russell the surprise package in p2 ahead of gasly in p3 so we could have finished somewhere around p3 p4 had we not had the issues uh, once we were behind gasly when he rejoined had it been a regular race i think we could have fought for the win i really do i think the one stop um pitting under the vsc and going all the way on the medium would have been the way to go i think we could have made it work and i think we could have um Potential won the race, if not definitely second place. Uh, but yeah, Bottas P4, Leclerc P5, Giovinazzi P6, very good drive from him from P17 on the grid. Ocon Perez P8 with a late pit stop. Schumacher P9 ahead of Stroll, and they're missing out the points. Latifi, myself, Ricardo, Sainz, Sonoda, who uh, took the fastest lap. Schwartzman, Matsushita, Mick Schumacher, Mazepin, and then Lungard, Norris, and Eilat out of the race. So, after three rounds, we are still P2 in the championship, but the gap to Verstappen is 28 points. Gasly up to P3 from McLaren, overtaking Sergio Perez and also Russell up to P5 with that podium. In the Constructors, we're still second, only four points ahead of McLaren and 14 points ahead of Alpine. Red Bull already 50 points clear. So, yeah, there's a lot. I'm not going to ramble. That is it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and, you know, the effort we put in to try and fight back and get some points. I gave it everything. I gave it my all, but it wasn't our day. We got unlucky twice. So, um... Yeah, it is what it is. Sometimes it just happens to go that way. But leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more for daily F1 content. We're on the road to 100k, so any help would be massively appreciated. As always, a big shout out to the members for supporting the content. And finally, check out the two videos on screen if you haven't seen them. But that is it from me here today, and I'll see all of you in the next one.